Hi Libra, this is going to be your love message for the 5th through the 8th of May. Good for Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, or Mercury placement of Libra, or anywhere where you feel like you have a significant placement of Libra in your natal chart. Just keep in mind, as always, this is a general message, so it's not going to resonate with everyone that watches, because there are 8 billion people on the planet. This is just a storyline I picked up on for today. If you'd like to book a private reading with me that isn't general, but is personal and just for you, I am open for private readings. A link to my website is down in the middle of the description below this video. If you're looking for readings for all 12 zodiac signs, check out my other channel. So I'm a Chandra Tarot where I read from Aries to Pisces. I'm almost done the zodiac over there. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a little flaky. I'm a little behind this week. <clears throat> a little behind. Um, also, the link to the extended reading, if you feel like you need that, will be at the top of the description below. If you're new, welcome to Libra Nation. This channel is just for Libra and Sagittarius, and I read for you here every four days, so subscribe and hit the bell. Subscribe to both channels, please. So, uh, they wanted me to use the chakra deck. A lot of energy, I think, is around you guys, and they wanted me to show you how they, your guides thought you were handling it. I really liked what came out for you, Libra. Wisdom prayer, instinct, and balance. Some of you are praying a lot right now. You've given yourself over to prayer. Some of you are just meditating, but some of you are like really praying right now, really praying. And you have a lot of wisdom. You've turned a lot of knowledge into wisdom. You turn to prayer a lot right now. Your instincts are very on point. Instinct is different than psychic intuition. This is coming from your body. This is coming from your spleen center. The sixth sense is a thing. You have sharp instincts right now. You want to bring your life into balance. This card always cracks me up. Look at these guys. They are not really thrilled with the decision that has been made. <laughs> but um, I think you have a lot of balance in your life right now. It's like you've given yourself over to, some of you, I can hear it, you've really given yourself over to the divine and you accept consequence and fairness and balance. They wanted me to just drop out a few more cards. I have gossip, despondence, facade, and self-worth. You uh, have gossip around you right now. Um, and this gossip may make you question who you are as a person and even your own self-worth. It could be a very triggering next couple of days. Conversely, you could have a person around you. Well, just stay away from gossip. Libras have a hard time doing that because we're social and we're mouthy and... Um, don't be that chick in the middle and don't even stand there next to her. There's gossip around you. This cracks me up. Look at these characters. One of them, you know, has a lot going on and the person next to her kind of doesn't. Someone may be showing off. I definitely see a show off <clears throat> around you. This could be happening between a mother and a daughter or siblings as well uh, in a social gathering as well. Um, there is a facade and some of you, because you're the seven of swords, you feel the need to maybe put on a facade with some people around you in order to protect yourself. It may make you question your own self-worth to be part of gossip. So stay away from it. Or someone else is just totally full of shit. And the truth is they're very despondent. And that is why people gossip. The only reason people gossip is because this is the only energy they know how to engage in. They put on a facade and they question their own self-worth. Okay. So try not to be part of that. You may experience some of that, but you know, you have a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of balance in your life right now. Trust your instincts. They're, your instincts are more important right now than your intuition, although you're the high priestess twice, so you've got that going on too. I also notice forgiveness at the bottom of the deck. Working on forgiveness, just like in a true spiritual sense where like I'm hearing that you know that there are some people in your life that you can forgive them and you can have some memories with them, but you're not going to deal with them. I've had to do this too. There are people in my life that I have forgiven, but they are not in my life. <laughs> That's all they got. Like there's a forgiveness. Someone may want forgiveness around you, but they don't know how to act like it. I can already see there's someone around you that 
<laughs> they're getting some kind of consequence. They probably owe you an apology and they kind of won't give it to you. Island Time Wellness. They wanted me to use that. Sorry, I can't pick anything up. Healthy choices, making healthy choices and love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. You're going to be happy the next couple days, proud of the choices you're making. Also, the Grim Reaper came out. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Yeah. You have brought balance into your life. You are closing the door and like it's like a final chapter for a relationship or maybe just things that you're like you're all the way done with. You're not going to give people that don't deserve a second chance a second chance. You're in a, a time of growth and transformation. You want to transform your transform your life and make really healthy choices. I just saw health too. You're very wise, very tapped in. You know what's over for you. Sunglasses came out though. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out and talking, interested, conversing more, text, call, email, or Hoover. I have seduction at the bottom of the deck. So someone around you could be tempting you. You yourself may be all the way making healthy choices and knowing certain things are over, but you yourself may not be able to help, but like watch a little bit, but I don't see that in the cards for you. I think someone's watching you. Someone may gaslight you to a degree. They do want to hoover and talk to you. They want to seduce you back into their energy. <laughs> okay. Um, but this takes you a lot of strength to deal with. I definitely see someone playing a game with you and you're being very strong. This could be a Leo, another Libra or a Taurus. This could also be a mother figure. I'm assuming this is you, Libra. Even my masculines can be the Empress. Um, you often come out that way. Um, <clears throat> some of you do have a feminine that is very passive aggressive with you and wants you to jump through her hoop and you're like you can jump through my hoop i mean i have a lot of strength of character i see your game i'm also seeing a lot of side glances someone may walk by you the next couple of days and pretend that they're not looking at you we can see her eyes so her peripheral vision is working yeah and so is yours mm-hmm so a person coming towards you sees themselves as the page of pentacles. The way they feel is the nine of pentacles. They're a show off. They see you as the high priestess. They don't like it either. What you need to know is the hangman and the final outcome is justice. Boom. Hangman to justice. Uh, that's a pretty potent card combination where someone is getting consequences and they have no choice to but to accept them. They've done this to themselves. They have no choice but to see something for what it really is. See something from a different point of view. This is your advice about a person. They are seeing something from a different point of view. They get themselves into situations that they put themselves in that... Uh, they just have to work through the energy of the hangman. You've given them a consequence. Yeah. So a person coming towards you sees themselves as the page of pentacles. Clarifying the page of pentacles is the ten of cups, the emperor, and the sun. There could be a child involved. This child could be an earth sign. I also get the sense that someone, based on their cards, because they're the nine of pentacles, I think someone may show you pictures they may show you their Instagram or their Facebook or they're looking at yours. If any of you are like really happy in a great relationship, like it's all the things, like you're a badass emperor or you have that in your life, your home is beautiful, you're happy, vacation, strength of character, like you're the boss right now, they are looking at that. But I heard that someone, because the Seven of Swords was at the bottom of the deck, Someone may want to show you pictures of vacation, family, children, something like that. It could be a man or a woman that puts you up on a pedestal in some way. But here's the way they feel. I'm like, oh, don't be a douchebag. They can't help themselves. They may have earth in their chart. And um, sometimes earth signs can be a little materialistic. Materialism and being materialistic is not bad or wrong. It's just a way of life. This person may be a little bit of a show off though, because the way they feel is the nine of pentacles. That's a self-focused feeling. They have a lot right now because clarifying the nine of pentacles is the 10 of pentacles, the devil, Capricorn, and the queen of pentacles. So it's a man or a woman that has it all. 
Because when we get the nine of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, and the devil, that's Capricorn energy. Work hard, play hard. I have it all. Money, status, power. Yeah. And I mean, I can see that they're proud of that. They're proud of their wife. They're proud of their husband. They love money. They love things. They love status. That is part of what makes the world go round on planet Earth. This means a lot to this person. I keep hearing show off. <clears throat> this may be to their detriment too. Like they may be in a relationship where they do have it all, but they're annoyed by you. They see you as the high priestess. I mean, I just live in my really beautiful little um, cabin in the woods and I talk to the animals and do my potions and I pray and I, I don't need a shit ton of friends. People come to me. <laughs> I'm meditating and praying. Uh, the all seeing eye is the high priestess. Like she just sits there like a spider in the corner and watches. She's very approachable, very chill very quiet to herself. Mm -hmm. She knows. I hear that she knows. You know, that's how they're perceiving you. Okay. And the and then clarifying this is the five of swords, the three of pentacles and the eight of cups. This is so freaking obvious. They, first of all, I think they're trying to make you jealous and they really want to show you something, but you're walking away. And they're mad. They're angry and jealous. Like, I, this is often to me, like, I want to get your attention. It can be a subtle show off card. Like, hey, recognize and reward me for what I've got going on. Don't you want to do this with me? And you're like, not really. <laughs> like, oh, Libra's not interested. You're not interested. Um, I think that in the next couple of days, you're not going to give a person the reaction that they want you to give them. Because when we've got the sun and the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles and oh, he and she are so well dressed. Look at what I'm showing you. And you're like, that's nice. It's like I get the sense that like you don't care. So what you need to know is the hangman, Pisces. This person is suddenly seeing something from a different point of view, but they don't want to because clarifying this is the eight of swords, the nine of cups and the star. This is you. I think they see you as the nine of cups and the star <clears throat> and like they don't look how they don't want to see it. They don't want to see your happiness. They don't want to see your freedom because the high priestess can be a, a specific kind of representat representation of the star. Like this is happy, popular, motivated, free, renewal, coming into alignment with your own soul, very spiritually guided. You have guides around you right now. And everyone embodies that in a different way. And I think the way you're embodying it, Libra, is just to be calm. Like you may have all this stuff that they have, or they could be looking at you having all of this and they're mad and jealous, but that's not the vibe you give off at all. Like at all. And I think that this person struggles to see like they may congratulate you but at the same time it gets them trapped in their head very much so and they kind of don't want to see this they really don't that's the despondence card but they don't have a choice like he's been hanging here long enough he doesn't have a choice they don't have a choice for sure and the final outcome is justice. Clarifying justice is the three of swords, the two of swords, and the queen of swords. That now this could be you. It could also be them being bitchy. Um, I definitely think justice is being served for some heartbreak that this person caused either to you or to someone else in their life. They do not want to look at this. They do not want to look at your truth. And she's like, look at how happy she is. She's not mean. This is like one of the nicest look of looking queen of swords. She has her pretty kitty looking up at her. She has birds and doves of peace. You know, just badass. If that's you, you guys. Also, it could be a woman. She may say she has it all, 
but it doesn't matter if you're a feminine or a masculine, you're in total high priestess energy. And this is uh, the consequence for them. Like, I think that this person might owe you an apology because they hoover back to you, but um, I don't think they're going to give it to you because their cards, <clears throat> you will have an interaction with them. That's what I'm picking up on. If this resonates with you, you'll have an interaction with them or you just did or you're about to again. I have the Magician, the Five of Swords, the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. This person wants to make you jealous. I can feel it. They want to make you jealous of them. Page of Pentacles, they're going to show you something. They're going to show you something. Page of Wands, you'll talk. Also, this could be surrounding children or grandchildren. You may have kids that talk to each other. They may sick the kids on you. Like they'll use, watch out for people, narcissistic people in particular, triangulating children. Oh, some of you real quick need advice about whether or not you should let a narcissistic family member spend time around your children. Oh, that's a tough one. I recommend doing some research about that. Uh, you'll pay a price if they use kids. Okay. I heard that you'll pay a price. Um, and they'll win, they'll get what they want. But I think that this person does want to make you jealous. I do think that they are a bit enamored of you. But you're just like, yeah, whatever, like you cross paths in the hallway. You're down for like happiness and a little bit of like chit chat here. They do have something to kind of prove or show you like, look, I won. Mm hmm. But you crack me up. You're the seven of swords. Bye. You're not going to give the and the high priestess. You will grin over your shoulder at them and you'll walk away. Um, you keep to yourself with the high priestess. Four of cups to the three of cups, though. I honestly feel like you have a lot of people you can spend time with. You have a lot of fun that you could be getting into. Friends, dating, whatever. <clears throat> you play your cards really close to the vest. I do think you're a little despondent over this person, though. Like, here's the three cups that you could be diving into and having fun with. And I think for the next couple of days, you will kind of um, mope a little bit about them. But you will not let them see that. You will not because your instincts are on point. And there's too much about this person that's triggering to you or this is what they bring. But I do see conversation and a despondence. And um, I don't know that this is a game like you're not intentionally playing a game, but you know that they are. So you'll kind of play it a little bit with the Seven of Swords and the High Priestess. I do think that it makes you feel good to walk away from them and know you know they're jealous, but you're trying really hard not to engage in that. Like you're trying to have strength of character and you're trying to be really mature too because this person I think might've broken your heart. I'm gonna do an extended reading because I see quite a bit of communication here and I just wanna make sure that in a future prediction, this despondence doesn't pull you backwards because I don't have the world here. Like, I don't know that this lesson is over for you. You may or you may not engage. Um, I also can't be sure, Libra, that this isn't you being the hangman, like seeing this for what it really is. But you may have a hard time with all their, this could be them showing off. I'm concerned about the conversation, communication, and triangulation with children. If you're concerned about that, you can check out the link to the extended at the top of the description below. But otherwise, like just keep doing what you're doing because your instincts are really on point. You know what's over, you know what's not over, and you're making really good choices. But you got a gaslighter around you that does kind of want to seduce you. So you were warned. You've got this though. You know what you're doing. All right, Libra, that's the fourth or the fifth through the eighth. Hope it resonates, hope it helps. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Libra. Take care. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.